is Chantal from the Purring Cat Studio and welcome back to my channel. Um, I want to do a quick craft with you. I just received um, more of those mini paper clips and um, because you know, I use them a lot. I put a lot in every journal so if you ever order a journal from me you're going to get a lot of um, these, a lot of these because I just love them and I put them in the journals. So I was emptying my new little mini clips just like that and oops well the first time i did it they weren't on my desk they landed in here <laughs> i'm not going to edit that just so you know i don't care <laughs> you know me by now okay and i thought oh well you know what i love to repurpose um what am I going to say? This <laughs> packaging. Hello. I love to repurpose packaging. I think that it's a good quality uh, cardstock and it's a nice size as well. And I usually will cover it with all kinds of papers and use it and make another tag with them. And then I saw this and I was going to throw it out because it's plastic. And what am I going to do with this? And then I realized, wouldn't it be nice to be able to use these you know how i love everything that's translucent and i make windows everywhere i can and i thought it would be so nice to have like this little capsule this little container with dried flowers isn't that sweet and i'm using tim holtz everything so i'm probably gonna have to tag it or something because <laughs> everything here is Tim Holtz except for the flowers and the ribbon I guess um, and I thought how about I show you how I did this and you can of course adapt it to your own things for for instance um, I'm sure you've heard of these shaker cards where you have like all kinds of shiny things into them you could put that in there um, I have bigger ones here these are like pearls you could do that um, you could I mean you can think of other things you would like to put in that little bubble so what i've done is i will keep this because i've already cut into the other one um like so so i really just cut around and in this particular one and that's what i will try with the other ones is i tried to leave myself a spot right there on top see that so i could put an eyelet now i'm not gonna lie the eyelet was not easy to put i'll explain that further um, as we go maybe for those of you who possess a crocodile it would be easier but it didn't work for me first I couldn't make a, a punt a hole with this because this was too far there wasn't enough plastic left to really get in there so I used I had to use my owl so I tried to put clear glue it doesn't work not this type anyway so let's forget about the glue and try and concentrate on now see i already made a mistake this corner i should keep and it should be up so my flowers are upside down so let me take care of that i didn't think about them um about it this way when i started um now the ribbon is kind of folded let me try and turn this around so it's really just these are like the little brown um it's it it was with my hydrangea the ones i didn't put flat in my um flower press and i'll show you right like here right so i didn't put them in the flower press or in the laminating machine because they weren't pressed and then these come off and they they make a big line in the laminating and then no it's it's just not work working at all and it's not worth breaking my laminating machine so i used a piece of uh, tim holtz fabric tape but i'm sure you could use uh, washi and for those of you who are wondering i also tried um a hot glue gun fail major fail so let's not do that again okay so of course you want to try and cut it just about the same um hmm. 
See, this is usually reversed when you receive it. But if I do that, then when I twist it around, it won't be okay. It, it might still work. So usually what I would have done, I would have, I would have cut it before I put the flower. But as you saw two minutes ago, the flowers were in. They were just the wrong side. So I will cut around them. Worst case, I'll show you again with the other one I have. So I cut around and I leave myself a few, like a little edge here, like so. They won't be perfect because, like I said, once you reverse the other one, you like you flip it around, um, it won't be. It won't be the same, but it's okay. It won't be that big of a difference that 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 you can't work around it. The first important part is to leave yourself. Sorry, I'm off camera here is to leave yourself some space here and to make it as round as possible you gotta be patient but as you can see the result is really sweet okay so I want this to be the top so clearly I need to cut this off a tiny bit like this it won't be perfect as long as it's cute in the end that's all we want mm, let me see once i flip it because that's what i meant when i say you flip it it might not be the same see it's not completely the same however again it doesn't matter a lot and i will explain to you why first of all let me see here Mm, I will cut a tiny bit, not too much. I don't need it this time. I left myself a lot more plastic than the first one I made. That's called experience. <laughs> so I will leave this here. And then what you do is you take some Tim Holtz or washi, but <clears throat> make sure you, the adhesive on your washi is strong. I have a feeling otherwise it will come undone and since we don't glue it together beforehand it might be a problem okay so I cut this I'm going to peel it like I have washies that really come undone quickly and I have like this is not uh, that's yeah it's not great let me see this one I think this one is better from the washi tape shop. You'll see because you know your washies and you know the ones that the adhesive in the back is not very strong, right? So, um, but I didn't try with washies. I just did this first one I showed you and I jumped on my camera, press record and decided to show you. Okay. So what we're going to do is like this. As long as it's kind of the same shape because there's tape all around it won't really matter that it's not perfect you want it to be as you know hold on as I'm speaking right now I'm just realizing that maybe I'm exaggerating here on the you know not the same but doesn't matter I want it to be a tiny bit the same there I think that's a little better and on top, I kind of see I have two, um, two points there. It's too much. Oops. Ah, it keeps moving. You know what the secret will be to this? Take care of the bottom first and do the tip at the end. So we'll, we'll start with this. So what I've done is you put it, uh, let me flip this around. It's hard because I'm working on a very small thing here and I don't want everybody everything moving okay I want you to see but at the same time I think that I'm a little too close I think I'm not sure so you put it right here on the edge I don't know if you can see that right here like so and then you can use your fingers. I use a tool to just trying to make sure that you see what I'm doing to just press around it. You could do it with your fingers as well like this. Just my fingers hurt 
lately because of uh, issues with the gel nail and the lamp and of course I keep putting it on because I find it so pretty but it's drying my skin and making everything crack okay so see what I'm doing here I'm just pressing to make sure the tape is really glued well there like so and now I think I can trim the rest without having everything move like it did two minutes ago because the bottom is secure there that's good okay so I'm going to keep going here but I'm not gonna lie the self-adhesive um, like fabric tape oh well <laughs> it makes it a lot easier and I'm just pressing again I'm really making sure that everything sticks well okay I'm gonna need another piece mm, won't be very long what I need here whoops mm, yeah that's enough I think it's a little too wide though let me trim it just a tad yeah like this made a big difference <laughs> oh I hope you can see I know it's it's working with very small details oh my dryer oh come on this is usually very easy to peel I'm just oh, my darn fingers okay hold on I'm coming Bon. Okay. So let's keep going here. It's okay. The excess, I'll just wrap it around the other. Doesn't matter. Now, because I left myself a little more plastic here, I'm wondering if I'll be able to punch a hole, which would, you know, simplify things for me because the first time, like I said, I had to go with the owl and then I have to try and, and make sure that my little eyelid will fit in the hole I just, it was a whole adventure. <laughs> Let me just say, it was an adventure. There, I think this is really nice now look how pretty it's not very difficult it's just you know you gotta you gotta just be um, not in a hurry you know you just take your time and it'll be all good so let me see if I can actually punch a hole here hmm I don't know e I might hold on maybe this way oh my goodness I don't know if you can see that. I can I can actually punch one right here. Oh yes, look at that. Oops. What's going on? Yep, yeah, okay. I did. Oh, ho, ho. Okay, so I can put an eyelet. I could just pass a rope and call it a day. I can put this. This is also very decorative. It's those little things here, right? Um, but I will go ahead and put an eyelet because I want these to be able to dangle from somewhere in the journal. Okay, so I did. I put an eyelet. Now we'll pass a piece of sari ribbon. Of course, I have to really twist it tight so it can go through that tiny little eyelet so and even so sometimes it's still difficult <laughs> sometimes I need a tool to try and push it in like this <laughs> there and then I will untwist it oops okay like so 
pass it through. There. Now, isn't that pretty? Maybe I'll cut this tiny bit. I like it. And then you get yourself uh, another, maybe another bow pin like this. Whoops, like this. And what else? There's all kinds of things you could put. It could be a little piece of bling bling. It could be, hmm, it could even be something like that, you know, to make it really, yeah, why about, how about we go full Tim Holtz here, <laughs> like this, and then you pin this through, and you can, of course, put it in the journal, of course, because I'm trying to finish, and I don't want to prick my finger, there we go. <laughs> you know how it is we've all done it there I think this is really nice the two of them I'm trying to show them to you in a good in a good way with a background paper or something <laughs> there I don't know if you can see that properly let me zoom in for you there isn't that pretty it's like a little plant a little piece of plant in a little in a little bubble i think this is so sweet so now i want to um i want to decorate the tag because i want to use the whole packaging so i'm just going to put this on here and i think i'm going to apply this beautiful beautiful collage paper i have let me back up a tiny bit um this is just a piece of collage paper i purchased not very long ago just i just hope i have enough to like go around i don't want to cut another piece let me see oh i might have to do some patching oh look at that a hair oh maybe i'll make it okay <laughs> Ooh, that's close I think this would look fabulous okay so I will turn this around to know where I want to cut um, how about I cover I don't know let me see okay I'll cover the bottom it's easier when you don't have little pieces to fold over okay like this maybe just like that and then some for the top okay yes i think this just like wrapping a present you know let's keep it simple so i will just apply this as my glue if you will oh this is a brand new one where's my other one okay there's just no point in opening a new one when one is perfectly fine here oops okay too much <laughs> ah it's okay i'll manage i think I'll need a piece of paper, I think, to take some of it off. Ah, oh, I can't even grab a normal sized piece of paper. Come on! <laughs> oh my god. Ah! I just want to put the excess here so I can work. Oh, okay. Ay, ay, ay. Like this I think this is going to be lovely I mean of course you don't have to use the packaging you can do what I'm doing with a piece of cardboard that you cut out of a box of cereal or you know but you know we were in the theme of using the packaging so why not uh, which way did I want this I don't think it matters much let's do it this way just like wrapping a present and now I will put some on the other side I'm not sure what to do with the hole there I think I will use my tag my ID tag punch I don't know maybe I'll still use a circle I have no idea we'll see maybe I'll I don't know <laughs> I keep starting a sentence not ending with I don't know because I don't know Okay, I think I should pull this first. 
because remember how close we were of not having enough so I'm afraid this will create some bulk though maybe I should have cut it a tiny bit you know what I mean when I fold it but maybe not in any case I'm just gonna take a tiny bit of it off there okay and now I will apply more because I am folding this and I want it to really glue like this there's probably a better way I'm just like I'm not getting all technical or anything. I'm just having fun here. Um, like I said, <laughs> this was not prepared at all. I just thought of the packaging for the little bubbles. And I thought, oh, it's so cute. I got to show them. And now I decided, oh, it would be so nice to, you know, do the rest. <laughs> and here we are. Just want to make sure there's adhesive everywhere. I'm going to really stretch it to the max because there was barely enough worst case I'll just patch with a piece of paper it's really no big deal well I think we made it it's not it's not super like straight here I don't know why and now it's all mm, should I bother with this let me see well so far it's not glued so why is it that it's not I'll just fold it inwards a tiny bit I said just like a gift a present but I didn't do it like I would a present so maybe that's why it's okay once it dries it won't matter much I just don't want the edge here to be not straight, if that makes sense. I'd rather have a line of paper here, which I think looks fine, rather than this being uneven. You know what I mean? Okay. This will secure everything, and it will dry nice and resistant somewhat there I will dry it okay so this is dry I think I thought of two things I could put the piece of ribbon like this but I think this this rough fabric would be better and I think I will sew it right there like so okay so I sewed this this first here was a mistake but I really liked it so I left it <laughs> I had trouble with my machine and now I'm seeing this and I think this would look fabulous so I will just roughly cut this with my um, fingers except the bottom we want you know whatever is touching the bottom of the tag to be somewhat straight of course I can't cut straight but <laughs> there let me see and what can I hmm I should trim it right here and close to the birds tail I think and it should pretty much fit yes yes it does Ooh, I like it okay I will just ink the edges because it is really white compared to the rest so I will just ink this I didn't cut my paper the right way that's why there's so much white there's a way to cut the paper yeah, depending on you know because you don't want all this paper pulp I just didn't do it right whereas this would be perfect see it's okay there nice I like it let's apply some glue 
Mm-hmm. Lovely. I decided to choose some. I have other beautiful papers, but I just stumbled upon those little miniatures, you know, that he puts at the end of his uh, paper albums. And I thought, oh, this would be just so cute to finish with Tim Holtz, you know. The only thing that's not Tim Holtz is the black paper here. The decoupage paper. Oh my, 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 my. We don't have to put anything in the back, but you could put maybe some paper for journaling. You know, like coffee stain paper, let's say to give a space for journaling. How about a tiny little word right here? I think this would look fabulous. And then we can attach this to our tag, like so, without you know, getting the needle in our fingers. I do that so often. Oh, my poor fingers. Oops, I can't close this. There. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Look what we did with packaging. Oops, I think you're out of focus. Let me put this closer. There we go. Now, isn't that pretty? All from packaging and a few leftover papers from Tim Holtz and my um, decoupage paper, but of course you can use whatever else paper you have. I think this is really lovely. Yes, I absolutely love it. I hope you've enjoyed this little uh, creative session with me. I hope I gave you a great idea to use your packaging or at least to look at your packaging in a different way because a lot of us order things that come in packaging that have some height to them. And um, I sure hope you try and make some of your own. I this On this, I mean, <laughs> I'm tired. On this, I want to... Um, give you a great big hug from here in Nova Scotia, Canada. I do hope you are all happy, healthy, and safe. Thank you for watching, and as usual, see you soon. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>